Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field. So over here, you can see this is our YouTube channel and you can see we have made videos on different topics like the building estimation, then what is the difference between the marbles and the granites. So you can see we are not covering only the uh, software we are also covering the practical aspects of the civil engineering like you can see that uh, for the softwares we have uh, made the video on how to make a building plan how to uh, work on Tecla structural designer so you can see a lot of videos over there then we have the Tecla structures with us and there are also a lot of live sessions on which I or Manav sir or Ashmita ma'am or Dhigan sir, these are the faculties of the civil center who go live on the YouTube and the Facebook and they explain them about the course. Okay, so even if you want to join our live online classes, then you can also do that. But right now we are going to discuss about the Tecla structures. So earlier I used to make videos on Tecla structures a lot and you can see we have almost 86 videos over here and there are a lot more to add. So in these videos i have already explained what are the basic techniques of the tecla structures but in the previous playlist i have missed a few things and now we i am going to create a new playlist for this in which i am just going to explain what are the things that are missed in the previous one but are needed to do the modeling and detailing in tecla structures so we know that tecla structures is a detailing software and it is also a BIM software that is the building information modeling software and this is how the interface of Tecla structures looks like. So when it comes to the grids you can always modify the grid lines okay so for that you can simply just go over here to the properties box and change the properties of the grid lines. So in this I am just going to start from the basics so first of all we will learn about the grids. So over here, if you will click on a single grid line, then you can see it will just give you the distance of the uh, grid line from the grid line next to it and also from the origin. Suppose you are selecting this one, then you will find the distance of this grid line from the origin and the distance of this grid line from the other two grids that are nearby this one or you can say the parallel one. Okay. so. If you will click this one then you can see on this side we don't have any grid lines so it is not uh, measuring the distance of that side but on this side it is having a grid line that is this one so it is the measuring this distance and also it is measuring the distance given from the origin okay so let's click on this one and you can monitor it now you can analyze the same thing for the other grid lines in the x direction okay now you can also make the changes in the grid lines how you can do that you can simply do that from the properties box so over here you can see we have our property box and this is the coordinate system so if you want to add a few more grid lines in x direction then you can simply enter the value so you will have to enter the distance between those two grid lines okay let's say i want to add a grid line at a distance of 3000 then again at a distance of 5000 and similarly I want to add grid lines at a distance of 6000 in this one and again another grid line at a distance of 7000 okay now this is the jet coordinate in which we have to define the different levels okay also uh, we will have to name the levels so I can directly name the levels like this or I can show you how you can just affect it by clicking on it. So you can see we have the modified grid line over here. So in the X direction you can see this grid line is having a distance of 3000 from the left grid line and from the right one it is having a distance of 5000 which you can see in the property box itself. Okay. Now over here we have added two more grid lines this one and this one so let's say this is having a distance of 6000 on the left and uh, 7000 on the right 
and that is the exact distance that we have mentioned over here one more thing that you have to notice over here that since you have just entered the same value over here that is a 6000 so it has written it like 3 multiplied by 6000 so this is how you can also do the modification now if you want then you can just change it like this too like i want to change it in x direction then i will just like uh, write 7 into 6000 and click on modify then you can see we have 7 grid lines instead of 2 placed at a, a distance of 6000 from each other okay now if you want to name this then you can simply name the labels like this like uh, let's bring it back to 2 now we have 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 grid lines that has to be named okay so I can write it as D E okay so that is enough and you can see everything has been named now okay a b c d and d e. all the grid lines in the x direction has been named similarly i can just modify it for the y direction also like 4 space 5 and click on modify and you can see we have the modified grid lines over here now next thing is about the left or the below so you can also change the position of the grid like over here we have 2000 mm left so let's make it 10000 and hit enter so this will show you the line extension on the left so if you want to do the same for the y axis in the below direction then you can also do that like i don't want any extension in the y direction then i will just enter the value 0 and hit enter see either you can go for the modify button or you can simply go for the uh, like enter key on your keyboard now let's check about the right or above option so if you want to go for the extension of 7000 instead of 2000 in x direction then you can just go for the extension of that like i want to enter 7000 in this direction and it has been expanded by a distance of 7000 over here now if you want to make it zero then you can simply write zero and hit enter and you can see you have no extension in the right direction but you have an extension of 10,000 in the left direction okay now let's try it for the y direction in the above direction y axis in the above direction then let's uh, make it 4000 in the y direction okay so you can see it has been extended now let's make it default for each and every value that was 2000 okay and click on modify and you can see we have got the default values okay simply you can also make this defaults or let's say we can keep it like this there is no issue with that okay now let's check for the origin suppose you want to displace your grid line okay then how you can do that you can simply shift it at any particular position like you want to shift it to the right with a value of 10,000 then you will have to enter the value over here and click on modify and you can see this grid line has been shifted from the x-axis by 10,000 mm okay if you want to shift it in the right also sorry in the y direction also then you can again enter the value and change the position okay similarly you can do it for the y direction but for that we have to look for the views and right now in this video we are not going to discuss about the views but we'll discuss about the views in the upcoming videos so i guess our next video will be on the views but let's see what are the different things that we can do with the grid lines so you can also make it magnetic or you can keep it like that now comes the grid color so over here if you want to change the grid color then you can also do that like i want to make a red grid line then i can also modify it like this then the label of the font and the size color can also be changed let's make it green 
okay now click on modify and you can see all the labels has been changed with the color okay so this is how you can change this now there are other parameters also like uh, whether it has been logged or not or the organization so there are so many things that you can also explore but uh, we are not going to explore everything in this video itself so let's move for the other special things that i need to guide you in this particular video so suppose you want to enter a grid line in between two grid lines then you don't have to just go ahead and add a line and then come over here and place it you will see that if you will just zoom in then you will find a plus but button okay so if you will just click over here then you will get an additional grid line okay and again if you want additional grid line over here then you can also click on add now see the pattern of the numbers so since one two three this was the pattern of the grid line uh, labels now if you will add a grid line in between then you will see it has been named as one two okay then again if you want uh, to go for another grid line then one two star and two star that means this star symbol is showing that this is the additional uh, number that has been given to the additional grid line over here like if i will just click over here then let's see you have got a number one star two star two star if you will just click it like this then you can see the whole number has been repeated over here so these are the symbol that you will analyze while working with the grid lines okay now let's undo the process for undoing you can either press the ctrl z button on your keyboard or you will have the option of undoing over here okay so you can simply undo the process and bring back everything okay so these are the parameters of working with the grid lines now in the upcoming videos i will also show you how you can modify the grid lines how you can just uh, add a random grid line over here so that is a different topic and will be covered in a different session so guys let me know how you have liked this session and whether this session was useful for you or not also if you want to join our live online classes then you can simply find a link in the description and you will have to fill this google form and our team will connect with you so over here you have to just enter your name your company or university and then you can select from all these courses what you want to go with that also if you want to just go for the decline structures then you can select this one and then the email id contact number whatsapp number country what kind of professor you are in like uh, if you are a student then you can choose either of these four or if you are a professional then you can just choose whatever profession you belong to if your uh, like uh, option is missing over here then you can just fill it over here like uh, suppose you are a estimator and estimator is missing over here then you can write estimator over here now again there are some other things that you are smart enough to fill okay guys uh, if you want to go for the free content then you can just look for the page of civil center on facebook and the channel of civil center on youtube and over here you will find a number of videos that will help you out with your career okay so we will be back with such informative sessions in our upcoming videos if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and if you have any particular topic related to tecla structures then you can let me know what topic you want me to make video on okay so guys that was all for today see you in the next video till then take care bye bye